Bishop Ryan softball split their season opening series on Tuesday, but hope to make bigger noise later on. Our David Gibson spoke to the team about what it'll take to make it to the state tournament. The Lions are under new leadership with their first-year head coach, Sal Rodriguez, and he says he wants to change the mentality of the program. Um, bring a lot of energy every day and, and, uh, and a coachability, learn the game, just, just every day have fun. He can really get us pumped up and excited for the season, even if we're having a bad game or whatever. He's always there to motivate us, so that's really good. Coach Rodriguez says he brings back about 11 girls from two seasons ago, and he'll be leaning heavily on his five senior leaders. I think they bring a lot of energy. I also think they bring the hunger that um, they lost the season last year. So they want to bring that energy. They want to go out and compete every day now. So um, teaching the younger players how to bring that energy every day is going to be big. It's got to be leaders. Some of, them, some of them have never played softball before or even like hit. So we just got to be ready to lead them and have the confidence in them and not get frustrated with them or ourselves. But the Lions know they will have to get the younger players to fill the shoes of the players that graduated last season. I think, you know, bring that hunger. Show them that the younger girls could play too. Bring that energy, bring that youthfulness, and, and just show them what it's like to just really love the game again. The goal this year is to hang a banner in the Bishop Ryan gym, but they know building skills daily will be a key factor this season. Just be real disciplined. Take every day as a new opportunity to, to learn and grow as a team. Um, just support each other, and I think at the end of the day, we'll be in good shape. A lot of effort and like putting everything in um, practices, everything in games and just everything we got and not getting down on ourselves and remembering that the younger girls are still learning and that we got to push them as hard as we push ourselves. Reporting in Minot, David Gibson, KX Sports.